Oh, I remember when I was younger seeing, like, the cover in, like, the video store, and I'm just like, there's, like, so many, like, shark horror movies, like, just for yeah. some reason. <laughs> and Asylum I blame done Steven a bunch Spielberg. Of, like, two-headed uh, shark attack or whatever. <laughs> blame Steven Spielberg. How was he supposed to know that that was gonna happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, blame the Jaws the sequels. Blame the Jaws Fair. sequels, because those were the... Yeah. Um... Most of them really just seem like they're trying to rip off, like, Jaws 3D anyway, so it's just, you know, or... And that's an interesting one to try to rip off. Or Jaws the Revenge. Because <laughs> apparently sharks can follow people to the Bahamas, and they take revenge on people. <laughs> for... Reasons? So, is the <laughs> shark, like... I know in, like, the Cisco and Ebert review of it, they're like, wait, is this shark, like, a relative or, like, a neighbor or something? <laughs> Just like, but anyway, that's getting off topic. Um, although, granted, feel free to get off topic as much as you want in this podcast, because it'll be far more interesting than whatever <laughs> this is. Um, again, getting off topic, but you know what? Might as well. We might as well get off topic. My favorite episode of The Office was the one where, uh... <laughs> uh the one episode of The Office I could never watch is the, uh... Scott's Tots episode. <laughs> A lot of people say that. Like, that. that is the only episode I cannot watch. I remember I actually saw it that like on tv one time if i remember but yeah that episode you're just like oh my god this is so embarrassing it's so painful there were two episodes i there were painful the the oscar episode that one is, oh yeah that one's i'm just like oh my lord this is just painful <laughs> and the one where they jan and michael invite them over for dinner <laughs> that that whole, one gets that whole episode, <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, this is the worst. Like, just... <laughs> it's so awkward and just awful. It was so painful. Um, is that where the Oki afterbirth line comes from? I think it is, but anyway. Uh, but yeah. Um, oh, did I mention did this is the... Uh, Movie with the lowest IMDb score that we've done on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Try and guess what it is. Uh, 1.5. A little bit higher than that. 1.8? A little bit higher. Point 1.9. Yes, 1.9 out of 10. That is too high for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's like... I. I is that higher than Manos the Hands of Fate? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> like, what's worse than this? I need to see what's worse <laughs> than this. Okay, Manos is 1.6. Yeah, that's 1.6. What could pot Birdemic is 1.7. Who? Turks in Space is 1.5. Turks in Space? Yeah. That's, uh... The sequel to Turkish Star Wars, by the way, if, if I remember. What the hell is this? I found something called Daniel the Wizard. <laughs> oh, I know what that <laughs> is. That's like a German film. Yeah, that's yeah. got a really low rating. Disaster Movie has a 1.9, so apparently Alien Origin is as bad as Disaster Movie. <laughs> I mean, Disaster Movie is pretty awful, let's be fair. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'd be worried if somebody tried recommending that movie to me. Um, Pledge This. The Paris Hilton movie has 1.6. Troll 2 has a 2.9. So it, Troll 2 is... Well, that makes sense, because like, Troll 2 is like... Got the reputation for being funny bad, at least. Um, gonna ignore that one. Um... <laughs> Because of a certain name. Uh, what? What? What's? Uh, what's my favorite movie? What's that rated? Oh wow, four point four. What's your favorite? Wait, which one? <laughs> oh god, you had to. I thought you were talking about. <laughs> no, that one's at like a six. I think it's way too high. 
I mean, it's at least shot okay. Like, <laughs> you're fair. It's shot better than this movie. It's a movie. <laughs> I honestly might leave a review of this on IMDb, because there is currently a total of one review one? of this movie. Let, let me read it to you. Winner of the worst movie since movies went color. Well, that's about 90 minutes of my life I don't get back. Truly the worst movie I've ever seen. I picked it up at Redbox, and boy do I feel ripped off. I've been better entertained by watching workers paint the stripes on a crosswalk. That is more I hope the director than watching this movie, so yeah. <laughs> I hope the director has a good day job. This movie is going to cost him any respect he might have thought he had when it comes to making movies. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't really disagree with anything that was said there, yeah. My, my only recourse is to come here and warn others to not waste their time. The acting, the direction, the video, the sound, the plot. How does a movie like this even get produced? I've seen my share of bad movies, but this is so bad it is, it is an epic fail. Exactly, yeah. But uh, I will disagree with him on one thing. He he mentioned the plot was bad. <laughs> there There's no, no plot. plot. There's no plot to this. <laughs> this movie makes me want to burn my DVD player in case it is now infected. <laughs> All right, but you know, here's the thing. Thankfully, I didn't watch this on uh, DVD, but yeah, <laughs> at least I didn't if you... buy it or rent it, so I didn't have to pay to watch this. At least it says if you read the review and still rent the movie, then congratulations, you're even dumber than the producers. Well, I didn't In... rent it. I didn't rent it. I just watched it on a streaming service for free, so I guess I'm no. not clear on that one. Oh, I'm sorry. So there's actually a total of 53 reviews of this. Wait, what? Um, but but here's the thing. He he gave it one out of ten stars. Understandable. Well, yeah. I'm worried uh, I would be worried if someone gave it higher than that. It has nine dislikes. Nine dislikes. The the review has nine dislikes? The review has nine dislikes. Well, I mean he didn't go into like detail about how oh, a movie about walking isn't good entertainment i mean <laughs> yeah, yeah. anyway um let's just move on to the next one i don't think this movie deserves more of our time jesus oh my god 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 i am losing Five faith i am losing faith in humanity as you list those <laughs> off <laughs> don't just just let's just move on. <laughs> yes, let's let's get away from that movie. Just to remind you, hey, midterms are coming <laughs> yeah. up. Well, sorry, Chuck Grassley, I didn't vote this year. Huh? <laughs> but anyway, gosh, so many Chuck Grassley. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> somebody's gonna watch this and be like, "Why do they keep mentioning Chuck Grassley in this?" <laughs> I find it entertaining that uh, I did not uh, like a single time on YouTube see a Chuck Grassley ad. So this leads me to believe that for whatever reason he was exclusively getting ad space on Tubi. Wait, so do you have? Wait, unless you have ad, do you have ad block on YouTube or something? Not on my phone, but I didn't get any Chuck Grassley ads. That's weird. I I was getting a on my phone. I was getting a lot of like ads for midterms. Like I I was mostly getting like uh, Miller Meeks ads. Some of them were Chuck Rasley ads. A lot of them were attack ads. They're usually attack oh, yeah. ads, and I'm like, oh for fuck's sake, you know? Let's just make ads and make them as misleading as possible. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> And again, I didn't even end up moaning anyway. So I just... <laughs> um, people are gonna be like, "Oh, you, you're clearly endorsing Chuck Grassley in this." <laughs> no, we are not. We're not. No, I don't even. I don't know anything about the guy. I... Aside from that, he's super old for, <laughs> and he's still in the Senate. I don't know. Okay. Um. <laughs> 